Our life is everywhere. We are in the cement jungle. But perhaps the most knowledgeable person of cement is traveling all over the world just to say, uh, well, this cement here is not the proper cement for your application, sir. Uh, we should change it to uh, R375 X, uh, <laughs> X uh, whatever, the newest cement. Right. Let me call, let me call our research laboratory so we can do a little secret ingredients. Maybe we can put a mushroom powder in the cement <laughs> to strengthen the properties of that thing and to actually... Uh, I forgot the word in English. <laughs> and actually the cement to become one with the iron rods inside. <laughs> so when the future generation look at this material, they could never understand that it's just a cement, you know. Do you know that there is a theory that Egyptian pyramids was built by a cement expert? They was not these big concrete stones, but they was actually uh, a technology to build a wooden, big wooden crate in a form of a stone and to pour the cement and after a couple of hundred years it solidified and it becomes a stone and now in 2022 people are wondering how these Egyptians was uh, transporting these huge stones where they get them well they was a cement <laughs> masters <laughs> maybe we don't know that's one of the theories so no that's... it's just aliens they came and they built it for their own purposes no, Yorge, the aliens came with the levitation <laughs> they levitated the stones from all over the world they were just levitating the stones the <laughs> aliens would not deal with such a primitive technology such no. a cement i'm know? not saying that they were dealing with concrete no, they uh, was not dealing with concrete, they was dealing with atoms, you know. The chief executive, which was like 13 years old kid, <laughs> uh, alien future. kid, 13 years old, with uh, like a brain like a million times smarter than Einstein, it was like a 13 years old boy, right? So he was like showing in the planet Gaia, right. and he looked at this site and he said, oh, I'm going to build a couple of pyramids here all right and this is how he did it by the pure power of imagination right he put atoms and matter together, together and he uh, and he uh, manifested he manifested the pyramids and just like this hey, let it be pyramid and that's it the power of words uh, the power of the mind. Maybe it was the kid from the future? Uh, yeah, yeah, we don't know. In, in, the, in the world there's just no future, regular, past and present. You a know? regular the human real being. world is like just locations, you know. According to my recent theory. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's not your theory, <laughs> don't flatter yourself. Oh no, I discovered it by my own. Maybe somebody else had it before me, but I, I also rediscovered Okay, I'm gonna say, I rediscovered it by myself. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you, thank you, Ivan. Uh, you just pat yourself on the shoulder. Thank you, thank you, Ivan. You have rediscovered the lack of time theory or whatever. All right, now let me have this You're camera. You're brilliant. Now, famous Jožek will tell you the reality of life. Famous Jožek. The reality of life is that we're being watched by these two pigeons. Oh, no, they are busy watching. The <laughs> no, they're just pretending. In reality, ah, they're, they're watching us. Ah, I thought they are pretending they are eating food. Right. What a clever pigeons. Pretending to eat when actually... Uh, how about this one? That's probably, a, that's probably the orchestrator of the whole world. Ah, oh, look at him. This one is so nice. Uh, oh, Jožek. Yeah, he is looking for the construction with oh. up. Wow, look at him how he yeah. he he They're very smart. he he's picking up one and he he doesn't like the yeah, quality. Yeah, he doesn't like the quality and he leaves it. That's how you supposed opa, to treat opa, your family. Opa, there you go. Only the best should um, come in your house. Only the best for your family. That's very very good idea, Yorick. That's very smart. Yes, Yorick. 
Be like pigeon. <laughs> Select the best for your family. And for the house. And for the house. Anyways. <laughs> it, it comes to Jim Ron, it comes to my mind immediately. Yeah. He say, his... build, build a financial wall around your family. No one can destroy forever. That's, That's a good. prime objective in the materialistic society we live in. If you have a family, build a financial wall around your family that nobody can destroy it. It's not about money, it's about financial wall. It's yeah. about money. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it is more financial than money. Wall. It is about money. This is not about money, this is about producing income uh, businesses, revenues, assets. This is a good financial wall. Not about to have like three hundred thousand dollars in the bank or to have twenty bitcoins or whatever. You know, you see the volatility of this world. Right. You need deeper, well organized, very well planned instruments that can continuously produce money for your family. This is called financial wall. And it's not like uh, two stacks of ten thousand dollars that will get you to, to literally to nowhere. All right, now famous Jozik will tell you. Famous Jozik. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it up. Trying to smile. <laughs> Does it look natural? Yeah. What do you think, guys? Um, Is my happiness like kind of mm, uh, not credible, not natural to you? It's a genuine smile. Genuine the smile. smile. is always genuine, but yeah. Well, but the mood, me. the energy. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now I'm gonna extend a little bit Why here. Do you need to extend it? Because uh, I want to be close. Long. I want the camera to be closer to you. Why? Because the camera should be closer to you because I speak louder than you and you speak and very quiet. I speak quiet. very low. No, you don't speak loud. I'm the loudspeaker. You're the soft voice of the universe. Yeah. Do you smell the the linden tree flowers? The linden tree. We are going for picking up linden. This is linden tree? Yes, this is. Okay, people, I will show you in a few days. I will show you something that it will be miraculous, okay? It is try trying to bloom. They are blooming already. They are ready for to be picked up. Oh my god, come here. No, I smell them from here. I smell them from far away. I need this flower. Yes. Oh my goodness. Mm, no, it's they smell from here. From further they smell better. No. Oh my god. Yeah, this is to make tea. Right. All right. So I'm going to we'll have tea from this flower. I'm going to have 50 pounds. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm going to have 50 pounds. I'm going to spread it. When I was a kid, that's what I was doing. I was going to the top of these trees, where is the biggest and the best flowers, and I was putting them in a big bag. And I was bringing them home in our old, old house, where the second floor was used, the floor, the floor itself, it was used to spread this thin layer of five inches of these things, and they get dry. And once they get dry, every morning my mother was putting them in a jar with hot water and it was producing the tea. That That's was the only the tea way. I knew. For, from, yeah, that was the only tea I knew from the age of 7 years to 20 years. That was the only tea I knew. Oh, when I, when, when I grew up, yeah, when I grew up there was like all these other type of teas. Mm -hmm. But this was our prime tea. And there was also another one, also handpicked by me on the ground. I don't know the name of the flower. Oh, yeah. herbs. 
herbs, yeah, herbal teas, as always herbal teas. But this, this uh, linden was the fashion of our neighborhood. Everybody was doing it. Some people have this, that linden trees in their houses just for the purpose to make the tea. No, it's just, you know, it's medicinal and you're supposed to, to drink this tea when you have fever. I don't know. It reduces your fever, inflammation, whatever. It's a very powerful plant. All right. I think all plants are powerful. I'm drinking green tea. Oh yeah. Green tea is a powerful plant too. It has caffeine, it has antioxidants. I don't know, people say it's healthy. Alright. These linden trees, they're like these are a little they castrated. Were last year and huh? they, they were like trimmed last year and they were yeah. like trimmed. A Go one year in the past and you will see the videos. For sure, we was discussing. That wasn't blogging back then. Yojik, they was blogging and we was discussing how the trees was cut before they had this leaves. I remember a vlog number 7337370705 from like one year ago. Yes. And we was discussing the way they cut them and why they cut them. Do you remember? You don't remember? No, I don't remember discussing it uh, on your video. I just remember discussing it. Like, ah, oh, look, maybe we didn't they... capture it on video. Anyway, sure now you know. 